Our world is in such a decay. Our world has been in such a decay for a long time, especially this country. And I'm going to talk about many things in this video of how it happened and why it's going to continue to happen at an even more accelerated rate. So the decline started long ago, but when technology came out, it advanced it. When all this social media became so rampant and so big, especially all this stuff nowadays, all this TikTok and all this other bullshit, all these little kids hyper-sexualized, hyper-sexualized on another fucking level. It is sickening and disgusting. And I see it. I fucking see it on Snapchat. I see little kids posting pictures. Oh, I went toy shopping. And they got a bunch of fucking dildos. It's fucking sickening. It's disgusting. Little kids fucking posting pictures and videos of them fucking. It's fucking disgusting. And it's all over the shit. It's inevitable. A lot of people bury their head in the sand. But it's going on. And it's the youth. They have the youth cornered and targeted. They're going to try to legalize pedophilia within the next few years. They're going to probably get away with it. And we're really going to be launched into... It's already been happening a long time, but China is going to own the world. And the way they've done that, they've infiltrated through the school system, the media, and the internet. Those three things is how other countries have taken down America. That's they've invaded. That, that was the invasion. Because no one would win on an actual invasion, so they had to invade in a different way. And this whole coronavirus, I, initially I was like, okay, this was probably an accidental escape from the Wuhan lab. Then it went into the market. And then that was that. And I was like, I know they're going to blow it up out of proportion because you know who was in office. And try to get every morsel of everything out of it. But they really want to they really use that to fear monger and to launch us into a lot of bad shit. Un returnable levels of bad shit you already seen it happening this is this is a huge win for giant corporations owned by china it's a giant win for social medias owned by china i don't know how people don't see this it should be so obvious but it's not You can't, you can't be a free thinker nowadays because they've, they've isolated so many people's minds into a fucking narrow path. And if you don't go along that path and you don't agree with the, the, what everybody has to agree with, you're fucking crazy. Or, oh, what's he doing? Ugh. I don't want to be around him. People don't like realness. They do not. They live off of emotion. They have made society so weak. It used to just be women that lived off of emotion, but it's most men nowadays that also live their lives based on emotion. Emotional. People voted based on emotion, not policy. It's not even just that. Because we were really fucked either way. We were fucked either way. But this just sets a precedent. It just sets a precedent in knowing all that I know was just proven right. It was proven right. Fully. Does anybody else feel this decline? Has anybody else seen this decline? I know people know of it, but I'm talking about on a personal level. Have you seen it? with your own eyes, in person. I have, I do all the time. I swear, I think when TikTok came out, I think the fucking country's IQ dropped at least 20%. <laughs> I mean, people are so fucking stupid. 
They're dumb on a dangerous level. People are stupidly dangerous. They're so damn dumb that they are dangerous. Not only this election proved it, but the way they're going to launch us into a prison populace, I don't remember the word, there was a big fancy word for it, but the way they want to lock everyone in their house over something that, ha that healthy people will survive from, just like any other ailment like that, like a pneumonia, is, it's, like, it's kind of like a pneumonia flu, and you know, I've probably had it. You know, they say you lose your smell and your taste and shit. Everybody's going to get it, guys. The fucking president of the United States had it. He is a 74, he was the president, and is a 74-year-old man and made it through. I mean, really. But, oh, we have to lock down everybody. Ah, ah, oh, we have to lock down your house. You have to wear a mask everywhere. Ah. And then Bill Nye, the science guy, comes out with his videos just fucking further indoctrinating little clowns. Fuck you, Bill Nye. Fuck you. You bent the knee directly years and years ago. Talking about transitioning kids and fucking... Oh, is this is factual. Ah. Everybody latches on. Everybody latches on to fake mental illness. Everybody latches on to all this shit to be special. All that was infiltrated from other countries. It started out as jokes on social media. Then people on social media latched onto it. And then people latch onto the shit thinking they're special. They latch onto it thinking, I am more special because I'm gay, I'm trans, I'm bisexual, I'm non-binary, I'm a gender cis, I'm a gender kin. Um, all that, they latch on, I have anxiety, I'm latching on to all this. They can't latch on to positive things and be liked by positive things, so they latch on to negative things. Now those things are real, but as I age, I realize that's a natural part of life. You're going to be anxious about things. You're going to not, everything is not always gonna be perfect at all times, it's just not. Oh, I need to take pills. I need to pop a bunch of pills. Make it go away. You have to face it head on. Taking a bunch of pills, trying to end it that way. You got to face this shit head on. And don't say, oh, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. Guys, I want to fucking die a lot. I, want, I used to want to die even a lot more. In 2018, I tried to take my life. In 2018, I kind of, I go back and forth on it. But the way the world goes nowadays, and just in the short few years, it has gone downhill even more. I want to say this world peaked from 1950 to 2013. I think that was the peak of modern society, was that time. It's a, I know it's a longer time frame, but the world really started to go downhill. It took, there was a paradigm shift. And then in 2015, that paradigm shift got even stronger when the media got so obvious about their insanity. I don't like either political party, guys. I don't. I am not for political parties. I am not. They People go to their political party and treat it like a sports team. They're cheerleading their favorite political party. Ah, it's so fun. I have to agree with everything they say, and I need to get smoke blown up my ass. Ah! The hammer's not dropping, folks. It's not. You know what they did. But who cares? We're, we're fucked either way. <laughs> this shit's happening either way. That's what a lot of people don't realize. No one was going to be able to stop this. Only mildly prevent it. It's too big. It's too big. Too many people are too far gone and never returning. They are never returning. They are never going back to, there are a lot of people that will never go back to a civil level. There's a lot of, thi there's a lot of government power that people have already given up that's 
That's not going away. That's going to get worse. So many people get a little scared. I get a little scared. And then they give up so many of their freedoms. And there's nowhere to really go. Unless you go somewhere where it's complete anarchy, complete anarchy is freedom, but you give up some of your freedom for safety. That's what you do in a civil society. So there's not going to be really anywhere to go for, you know, the first and second amendment, the first, the two most important amendments. There's not really anywhere else to go for that. Unless you got a lot of money, because there's a lot of places you can go. The laws don't apply to you if you have money. That's basically anywhere, but... It's done. It's done. It doesn't matter where you live. It does not matter. They already have the youth on lock. They already have the youth fully indoctrinated directly to what they want. There are so many people that I've talked to that are like, oh, I don't care about politics. I'm not really uh, into politics. But they're literally, everything they do and think lines up with what, what political party do you think it lines up with? You know. People that know, know. It lines up directly with what they want. <sighs> I could rant and rave about this all the time. And it's just going to get worse, you know, for sane people with brains in their head that think that are unbiased. I'm an unbiased person. I literally am an unbiased person. But people, when they hear you say something that they don't agree with, they automatically get hostile. And they're like, you think I give a fuck? I'm walking around a neighborhood. I don't care if someone sees me. Who's really on top? I don't care. And just the way... I, I want these messages to get out. That's why these are going to be uploaded everywhere. Every platform I can upload to is going to be put out there. I really want to get more deeply into a lot of these topics that I mentioned in this video at some point, but I just really needed to rant this morning. It is... It's very early. The sun just rose up. I was like, it's freaking freezing out, right? It snowed a town over. It's California and it snowed a town over from where I live. Oh, <sighs> the climate changes, climate change. All right, have a great one. If you're new, watch the videos, De decide if you want to follow or subscribe all social media, all that stuff linked down below. I absolutely hate all that shit, but to be online and to spread a message, you need to be on it. Even though I don't promote it a lot, I need to, I need to start getting out there more and trying to change people's minds. And I don't want to say wake people up, woke, woke. No, that's stupid. That's, that's literally just a brain dead term for people on Twitter at this point. Woke of woke. Ah, oh, so woke. Ah. No, but to just make people more free thinking. Some people are too far gone, they'll never get to that point ever in their life. It doesn't matter how much you tell them, they will never listen. I could tell so many people how to change their life. Literally how to change their life for the better. They will not listen. At all. But there you go. Peace.